Question number six says two trains on a separate tracks move toward each other. Train one has a speed of 137 kilometers per hour. Train two a speed of 77 kilometers per hour. Train two blows its horn, emitting a frequency of 500 hertz. What is the frequency heard by the engineer on train one? So this is a simple Doppler question. And the, the uh, observer in this case, it says, what is the frequency heard? by the engineer on train one. So train one is the observer. So uh, we'll just write that down. Train one is the observer. So what is the frequency that he observes? And it says that it gives us the speed. So the velocity of the observer, it says is 137 kilometers, I put kilograms, kilometers per hour. And so we want to we want to change that um, to meters per second. And of course, dimensional analysis, it's 38.0, so 38.05556 meters per second. And then the the velocity of train two, so the velocity of the source. It says it says that train two blows its horn. So train two is the source. So the velocity of the source is 77 kilometers per hour and so that d dimensional analysis will show that that's 21.38889 meters per second and of course the the frequency of the source is it tells us in the problem that a, a train 2 blows its horn emitting a frequency of 500 hertz and so what is the frequency heard by the observer by train one. So the Doppler equation says that the frequency of the, z the observer is equal to the frequency of the source multiplied by the velocity that sound travels plus the velocity of the observer divided by the velocity that sound travels minus the velocity of the source. Now whenever the the, the rules of this equation are whenever the velocity of the of the observer is is toward the source then you plug in a positive number here whenever the velocity of the of the source is moving toward moving toward the observer then you plug in a positive number here that means the signs don't change when you plug in a positive number these signs do not change okay so a negative times a positive is still a negative so I can I can plug in um, the numbers here so 500 times uh, we would say that the velocity that um, the velocity that sound travels in air uh, would be v, and so we're not talking about at zero degrees, obviously, which would be uh, roughly 331. So on a normal 75 degree Fahrenheit day, or I think that's roughly something like 23 degrees Celsius. I don't have I don't want to take the time to convert it, but the velocity is roughly 345 meters per second. So add that to the velocity of the observer. It's one, uh, so we said 137 is equal to 38, 38.0556 uh, meters per second. We can divide that by 345 minus uh, the 21.38889. And so that should equal uh, the, the frequency that the observer hears should equal roughly 591.85 uh, hertz.